So let's look at a worked example involving projectiles. A ball is rolled off the edge of a horizontal table with a velocity of 3 metres per second and takes 0.5 seconds to hit the floor. Often useful to sketch the situation. How far away from the base of the cliff does the ball land and how high is the table? Now, we've got to always be clear about whether we're dealing with a horizontal or a, project, uh, a vertical component at any particular point in time. And this first bit, you're asked about how far away from the base of the table. So this distance d, so it's a horizontal distance. And the equations for horizontal distance, uh, remember, it's just uh, for horizontal motion, so it's just a constant speed equation, d equals vt. We know the horizontal velocity is 3 metres per second. We know the time is 0.5 seconds. So we can work out that that distance d is 1.5 metres. If we now look at the vertical motion uh, of the object, then we don't actually appear to know very much about the vertical motion. So if we think about it, we do know that it's accelerating. So when we're listing our variables for that, um, we can list, it's going to involve UVAST or Suave T, whatever way you, you to memorise it. And in this case, um, all we've given in the question is that T is 0 0.5 seconds. But because it's fired horizontally, we can see under the vertical heading that U is zero. So it's very important that that three metres per second that you're clearing your head is horizontal. It's not vertical. And the other thing we know is that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. 9 now I will generally write that as minus 9.8, just to remind you that it's downwards. In this question, they've taken downwards to be positive, but I think it's uh, easier just to be consistent in that. So we're being asked S, we know U, A and T, so we can use uh, our S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared equation, and we get S is 1.23 metres. Now notice, uh, if you're taking A as negative, that would be minus 1.23 metres, because the ball has fallen down the way, it shouldn't come as a surprise that it's negative. But then the final answer to the question is the height of the table would be 1.23 metres because that's how much the, the, the ball fell from in the first place.